Okay, in this lesson, I'm going to introduce the concept of graphing linear inequalities or what linear inequalities are. I'm not going to do any examples from the study guide, but I'm just going to introduce part C here. Um, that's if you're in my class and you have the study guide. A really, really critical lesson, though, that you understand kind of what the goal of linear inequalities are. So just look at the definition, and then we'll look at some examples that aren't in your study guide and kind of what the big idea is. Uh, a linear inequality is a relationship between two expressions. Um, in which one is less than, which is this sign here, <clears throat> this is what less than means, uh, greater than, which would look like this, less than or equal to, or greater than or equal to, which is this sign here, the other expression. So you're going to have two expressions, and one is greater than, less than, greater than or equal to, or less than or equal to the other one. Uh, the solution set, or the solution, or what we're looking for here, the uh, solution set of an inequality is the set of all possible solutions. There's more than one solution to an inequality. You'll so see that in a second. Uh, the solution set can be represented on a graph. So I have two graphs here that represent solution sets, but what I want to do right now is actually show you some solutions to a few inequalities and explain the big idea. So uh, the first inequality that I'm going to show you is this one here. This is where y is greater than x. And I've had, I have a graphing program here. And what I'm going to do is just show you the graph and explain kind of what the big idea is. So here's the graph of y is greater than x. And what this means is that all of these points in the shaded region, or the green region here, all of those points represent solutions to this inequality, whereas this non-shaded area represents non-solutions to the inequality. Or, in other words, let me show you some points here. So this point here, 0, 2. <clears throat> so that's the point right here that I'm pointing at. We know that that's a solution based on what I've shown you because it's in the shaded region. But what I want to do is actually just make sure and check that it is. So is this point a point where y is greater than x? Well, as you can see here, this is x and this is y. Is y greater than x? So in other words, is 2 greater than 0? Absolutely. The y-coordinate is bigger than x. Um, so that's why it's in this shaded region. Whereas look at the point here. The next point I'm going to investigate is 2, 0, which is this coordinate here. Is y greater than x there? Or in other words, is 0 greater than 2? Because 2, 0 has a y-coordinate of 0, x-coordinate of 2. So is y greater than x? <clears throat> And the answer to that is no, 0 is not greater than 2. Let's look at a few more points. 4, 7, the coordinate 4, 7 is right here. This is just examples of points. All of these points are solutions. Uh, 4, 7, is y greater than x? Yes, 7 is greater than 4. Or the next one, negative uh, 5, negative 3, that's negative 5, that's this point right here, is y greater than x there? <clears throat> so in other words, is negative 3 greater than negative 5? And the answer there is yes. Uh, negative 3 is bigger than negative 5. So that's an example of an inequality. Let's just investigate another one to see if you understand it. Uh, this inequality here <clears throat> is this guy right here. y is less than negative 2x plus 4. So here's the solutions. So for example, 0, 0 had better be a solution because it's in the solution region. So let's just uh, substitute it in. So if this is my x and my y, I substitute them in for x and y. And what I have here is, is 0 less than negative 2 times 0 plus 4. And if we just evaluate, that's going to be 0 <clears throat> less than 4. So I'm just evaluating the side, multiplying, and then adding. Is 0 less than 4? Absolutely, yes. So that point, 0, 0, is in the solution set. Or is the point 3, 3, which is right here, a solution to this inequality. So is, is 3 less than negative 2 times 3 plus 4? So is 3 less than negative 2 times 3 plus 4? We know the answer is going to be no because it's not in the solution region. And I'll show you right here. Is 3 less than negative 2? No, it's not. It's greater than negative 2. So the point 3, 3 is not in the solution region. And finally, negative 6, 6, which is the point right here, had better be a solution. So in other words, when y is... 6 and x is negative 6, where an x is negative 6 and y is 6, there will be a solution. So if we, we can check it in here, and that would be, is 6 less than negative 2 times negative 6 plus 4, or is 6 less than 12 plus 4, is 6 less than 16? Yes, absolutely. So you can see that all of these points will be solutions to the inequality, whereas all of these points will not be. Uh, let's just look at one more, and it's going to help me explain um, 
where we're going with this, here's the last one that we're going to investigate, and that's where negative 2 times x plus 5 times y is greater than 10. Uh, the point 0, 0 is not going to be a solution. Or in other words, negative 2 times 0 plus 5 times 0 is not greater than 10. I can show you that. <clears throat> negative 2 times 0 plus 5 times 0, is that greater than 10? Well, that's going to be 0 plus 0 greater than 10. Uh, 0 is not greater than 10, so that's going to be a big fat no. Uh, the last investigation, do you think that 3, 5, so I'm just asking questions, is the point 3, 5 a solution? We know it's going to be, let me just prove it to you. So is negative 2 times 3 plus 5 times y, which is 5, greater than 10? So that would be is negative 6 plus 25 greater than 10, or in other words is 19 greater than 10? And that would be yes. So it is a solution. Here's the interesting point. <clears throat> this is just kind of what, you, what you'll notice is there, there's this boundary line between points that are solutions and points that aren't solutions. And that will always be the case uh, for these linear inequalities. So what is this boundary line? Because that might make it easier. And I'll tell you right now, the boundary line is exactly <clears throat> where negative 2x plus 5 y equals 10. So the boundary line is where these two expressions are equal. It goes between um, those two points. So what we've looked at previously uh, is how to graph the line. So how do we graph the line negative 2x plus 5y equals 10? Uh, we find two points. So if I substitute x equals 0 into here, I'm going to get uh, the y-intercept. So I'd have negative 2 times 0 plus 5y equals 10. <clears throat> so that's 0 plus 5y equals 10. That would be 5y equals 10, so that would be y is equal to 2. So in other words, when x is 0, y is 2. That's a point on the boundary line. So here's 0, 2. That's a point. And if I substitute y equals 0 in, I'll have negative 2 times x plus 5 times 0 equals 10. <clears throat> and negative 2x is equal to 10. So if you divide by negative 2, you will get that x is equal to negative 5. So in other words x is equal to negative 5 and y is equal to 0, and that's point right here. So if I had those two points, I could graph the boundary line, and that's a really important thing to be able to do. So there's an introduction.